the big fat Indian wedding, a grand affair. A long celebration that involves a huge quantity of flowers. Have you ever thought what happens to them once the celebration's over? Such beautiful gifts of nature are just thrown away in dustbins. Tons of flowers are discarded across India on a daily basis, not only from weddings like this one, but from different celebrations and locations. Alisha Mandolia, a textile designer by profession, wanted to do something to give these natural beauties a longer life and thus began Mulia creation in 2019. With a focus on three hours of reduce, reuse and recycle, Mulia Creation works on turning plain fabric into beautiful prints, all thanks to that gift from nature, flowers. Being a textile designer, uh, I always had a love for textiles, like textiles always fascinated me. And coming from the textile industry, I knew like there are so many things which are going off with the industry. So being a responsible designer, I, would, I wanted to do something different and sustainable with the industry. Like there are things which we, there are alternatives that we can adapt and bring about small changes. So Mulia started off as an Instagram page wherein uh, I used to do a little bit of research, click pictures and upload it on the social media. And we got a lot of good response on that. So that, is, that was the beginning of a bigger step towards Mulia. Coming from the textile industry, Alicia wanted to put her knowledge to good use. Mulia's main aim is to create sustainable products using the best natural resources while also giving livelihood skills to the women around them. Mulia creation started during Covid and appointed women whose husbands lost their jobs during the pandemic. These women were trained in the process of eco-printing. Mulia gave an opportunity to the local women to join us, learn something new, develop new skills and be a support in you know, house earning and you know, help in like, uh, the daily expenses of the house. So I think we kind of got in people and gave them an opportunity, opportunity to you know, grow as a person financially uh, in terms of confidence also, in terms of going out also. So that is what we did with the local women. We brought them in, we taught them new skills and that is how we've been growing. It's one woman, then two, and then we work with small NGOs as well. So it has been a great response and we would want to grow bigger and bring in more women who can kind of uh, develop new skills and uh, bring in new positive changes in their life and be more independent. In the corona, my husband was closed, so I had to keep my work. These people had to keep me. These people had to teach me a lot of love, because I didn't have to do this work. I didn't know that the trees were with the trees, but I didn't know that there was a color from the trees. But here I came and I knew that there was a color from the trees, 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 from the trees. I didn't know that there was such a color from the trees. मुझे सब पता चला कलर के बारे में अब तो कहीं जाओ तो देख के लगता है कि हाँ मुझे ये फूल ले जाना है अपने मूल्य में इसका कपड़ा प्रिंट करना है इसके लिए मेरे हस्बैंड भी मुझे बहुत सपोर्ट करते हैं As eco-printing, sustainable fabrics, creating value in waste and slow fashion start to appeal to more and more people, getting to even this stage of awareness hasn't been easy. But slow, handcrafted products of the kind that Mulia specializes in are starting to catch on. To spread its popularity further, Mulia has been participating in exhibitions and educating people. I think uh, people are pretty much aware of what's happening around like global warming and everything happening around people are wanting to bring about changes but you have to educate them 
so what i have experienced through my working like if you sit with somebody if you tell them like this is what we are doing this is the impact of it this is going to uh, this is going to be the result that we we'll get we're going to get after we start using eco friendly uh, clothing or sustainable clothing so they understand so it all depend on how you communicate to them the reason of you doing eco printing and what benefit it's going to bring about in future Mulia's latest creation is the Jai Mala edition. A unique idea to preserve what is a special memory for a bride and groom for generations to come. Basically this concept was from my co-founder my sister Ankita. So she uh, brought this idea up like we should definitely do something about the flowers that are going waste during the wedding because we have our friends getting married and the jamalas are pretty expensive and after the wedding nobody knows where it goes like there are times it's on the dump but it is something very auspicious like it has a lot of value to it so we kind of brainstormed and thought like what can we do to bring in more value to that jamala because it's just not jamala it's some it has got more to it it is like auspicious when you put the jamala on the other person there's something happening in there at the moment and after that moment is gone you kind of throw it away so it the all the memories and everything are kind of getting washed away with that so we wanted to take a step and kind of preserve it for a lifetime so we ask people to send us the jamala we would use those flowers to preserve their memories with our clothing we would follow those eco printing uh, our eco printing techniques and uh, convert their jamala into something which remains with them and they can pass it on to their generation one after the other as well One such couple are Simran and Dhruv who got married in November 2021. They wanted to preserve their jamala beyond just photographs and got in touch with Alicia. The result is this couple scarf combo made by Moolya Creation. But it isn't just young couples. Mrs Nirmala Rana has been married for close to 30 years. and had preserved her wedding jamala from the year 1994 it'll now be turned into a beautiful scarf so it can be with her for the rest of her life so once we receive the jamala our first step is to ask the client what exactly do they want we ask them like if they want a dupatta or a stole or any clothing that they want to get made out of it and as soon as they tell us we cut the fabric out of our than and put it into modernting which we put it into alum for overnight meanwhile we segregate the flowers and we uh, if they're pretty fresh we keep them as it is and if they're not we dry them in the sun uh we give them the option of the base dye like if they want it in a pink color or a red color or a yellow color so it depends we give them an option of picking up the base color if they don't want any base color we do it on the white fabric after they've decided which color they want to pick we spread the fabric uh, on the floor we put the petals the flower petals on to the fabric we roll it up and steam it in our uh, steamer for approx 2 to 3 hours and we leave it for a day and the next day when we open it up we record the entire process and show the client how the prints have come out come out on the fabric jamala being from different colors the results can vary like it can vary from like so it's unexpected even we can't guarantee you that this is the color which is going to come out if we base dyed it on a pink the flower would you know interact with the base dye and get a, the result would be really beautiful and unexpected so that is the beauty of eco printing once we've got the fabric we wash it off and we iron it and give it we do the finishing we do the embroidery on the dupatta we put tassels on to the dupatta we embroider the name and date on to the dupatta and that is when the product is finished we send a picture of our pro final product to the client once they approve it we pack it up and we courier it to them so that they can wear it and flaunt it as the name suggests moolya creation adds value to the lives of people working with them as well as the people wearing their products It's a true example of providing clothes with a conscience.
Our clothes define us. They are a true reflection of our personality. A right outfit can make us feel confident and a wrong one can make us conscious of how we look. But did you know the colors in your outfit can affect your mood as well? And not just your mood, it also has an impact on your health and the planet's health. Most high-end fast fashion brands use synthetic colors, colors made from chemicals, and when have chemicals been good for the human body? As chic as your outfit looks, rewrapping yourself in chemicals is definitely not a good idea. And that is what Sodhani Biotech is trying to change. Don't be confused by these beakers. It might look like a chemistry lab to you, but in these beakers are colors extracted from nature itself. Shaping the world of net zero fashion, Sodhani Biotech comprises of a young team promoting the oneness of our life with environment and they do this by extracting colors from plants and plant waste. Knowledge about pigment and colors from natural resources helps Siddhan Sodhani start this organization. Siddhant was aware that the fashion industry is the second most polluting industry worldwide and he wanted to bring a change. I met a couple of people from US and uh, Germany and you know they, they, they were from textile backgrounds and they were looking for natural dyes. So uh, my fa like uh, like you know uh, my father was in this business uh, during 1992 to 1995 and uh, um, you know, uh, when, when I meet the, met these people in 2014, uh, they explained me more about, uh, about textile and uh, they thought, you know, maybe, maybe this, could be, uh, this could be one of a very big thing in coming years. And they asked me like, you know, maybe, maybe if I am interested, I should get back, uh, you know, again into this segment. So I thought to restart the business back. After a couple of years, you know, we started realizing that if we have to replace chemical dyes with natural dyes then I mean you know the, the, the consumption of nat uh, chemical dye is so big that if we will try to replace chemical dyes through natural dyes we almost end up cutting every tree on earth so then you know we will again reach the same place where we have started from. Having realized the challenge of replacing chemical dyes with natural dyes this is when Sodhani Biotech started working on waste products to make colors. For the last five years, they've been using waste like onion peels, pomegranate peels and walnut shells, all sourced from local communities. Most of these products, you know, they are, they are collected by uh, multiple companies, you know, whom we have appointed and they collect the raw materials for us. There are certain products which are uh, sourced from uh, east part of India and then uh, indigo, it majorly comes from uh, down south and uh, then there are few products which comes from central part of India as well. The products go to the R&D department where the colour compound is checked and once the product has met all the criteria, it's sent for colour extraction. What makes the process unique is that none of the raw material used are a part of the food chain and are completely a waste. And by turning natural waste into wealth, Sodhani Biotech is dedicated to reducing the carbon footprint that chemical dyes leave. Carbon footprint of natural dye is around 60% lower compared to chemical dyes. Secondly, uh, most of the natural dyes they have inherent antibacterial properties. So, I mean, they are even good for, you know, uh, like uh, bacterial infection or skin infections, which, which generally people have uh, while wearing, uh, you know, clothes which, are, uh, which have hazardous dyes or synthetic dyes. Uh, then you can use the same product for any kind of fiber or for any, any purpose. So you can use it for cotton, wool, silk, polyester, nylon. So any kind of fiber can be dyed using natural dyes. Apart from dye extraction, the team at Sodhani Biotech also conducts workshops for people of all age groups. The workshops not only teach techniques for easy dyeing projects at home, but also the history and fundamentals of natural dyeing. The workshops also focuses on traditional block printing techniques and participants are given DIY kits making the experience all the more special.
we are leaving it forward for our children and we want to have something sustainable for them uh, i think there was this interesting video we saw where uh, adults were given some colors a box of crayons they used all the colors in them to paint those pictures while children used gray and black because that's what they're seeing and uh, these sustainable measures would leave help us leave a legacy for our children a better world for them to live in um i think that increasingly like there's a lot of pollution and just a lot of we're leaving a really big carbon footprint on the world so the having these natural dyes is one step towards making um like reducing the footprint that we're leaving now you know the benefits of naturally extracted dyes not only on the body but on the planet as well as conscious consumers we should be more curious about what our favorite brands are using to dye the clothes we're wearing if it's sustainable only on paper or in reality too